If you are interested in artificial intelligence, I am sure you have heard about what is generative AI. Lot of articles have been written about that. On most of the newspapers, I am sure there are articles about uh, generative AI uh, after ChatGPT was launched a couple of uh, months back. But many of these articles are very non-technical in nature, written by journalists that uh, do not understand artificial intelligence. The good thing is that Google has now come up with a, uh, a course, a free course on generative artificial intelligence or Gen AI, and you can find the course on the website of Google Cloud. You can also find uh, on the YouTube channel of Google Cloud uh, Tech YouTube channel. Uh, it's an introductory course. Uh, it's a course that uh, I, I just took actually and it's, it's very interesting simply because uh, first of all uh, it introduced this new technology called Gen AI which is very different from the classical machine learning modeling techniques actually or even uh, the classical AI uh, modeling techniques um, simply because you know it is not uh, about you know um, predicting or classifying which are the two most important problems in machine learning but it's you know generating same sort of content from uh, the input data so you have input data you are generating the same type of input data again so uh, that's about generative ai and that's how chart gpt has been created which is that it has been fed uh, a lot of the information available on the web to create intelligent response to different questions right so it's more about, it's not just about prediction, it's not about classification, it uses, Gen AI uses um, both supervised learning algorithms, unsupervised learning algorithms, semi-supervised algorithms, uh, and it uses level data, unleveled data both uh, to generate, you know, uh, text or images or audio and video images. So it's an amazing course, there is no prerequisite. Uh, it's again very introductory, uh, there is not everything in detail, um, you do not learn a lot of theory in this, it's very application oriented, if you want to get an introduction of what Gen AI is, I think you should take this course, you can find the link in the description if you want to take the certification. If you go to uh, the Google Cloud uh, website, you know, this cloudskillsboost.google, uh, you know, I'll, I'll provide you the link in the description. You can find this course, Introduction to Generative AI. It's free, doesn't cost you any money, and I think it can be finished in a daytime. It's not, uh, it's not a very long course. It's very short, introductory in nature, um, and it it assumes that you do not have any experience with artificial intelligence although good to have some knowledge about artificial intelligence otherwise uh, you might get confused because they use a lot of jargons uh, which you are not may not be very familiar unless you have some idea about machine learning and ai right so what exactly is the prerequisite well the objective is learn what is uh, generative ai uh, how generative ai works um, and then description of generative AI model types and uh, what kind of application that can be built out of generative AI. There is no prerequisite as in uh, you can be a complete novice and still take this course. Uh, anybody can take this uh, course, especially for working in data science, data analytics, data engineering. Uh, you must take this course. If you are a student of computer science, student of statistics, economics and interested in a career in data analytics, I think this is a quite decent course. Uh, again, this is not a very detailed course. Uh, this is very introductory in nature, so I'm not. I'm, you're not going to be able to, you know, build generative AI applications after doing this course. But it gives a very good introduction. Your understanding of how generative AI models have been built for products like uh, ChatGPT uh, or Bard from Google, you, you can understand it. You can understand it better. Um, all right, and then you can also get a certificate. If you want to take this course from Coursera, you can also do that. They have the collaboration as well. Um, and it's very short. Uh, you can also take a bit more introductory courses actually. They also have that. They, uh, I saw that on their YouTube channel. The list, they have a playlist actually. 
uh, that also you can take okay thank you guys